Problem number 16, evaluate the integral from 2 to infinity of uh, 1 over 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 dx. So this is going to be a bit of a twofer here because there's two different things going on. Uh, one is that we see this is going to be an improper integral, so I want to uh, practice doing all of that uh, completely properly with limits and stuff like that. Also, there's a pair of fractions in the denominator. We're going to have to use partial fractions uh, to get a partial fraction decomposition so we can actually uh, find the antiderivative here. Okay, so first step is let's go ahead and find the partial fractions decomposition. So for that, I'm going to say that 1 over 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 this is a over 5x plus 1 plus b over 3x plus 1. If I clear out denominators by multiplying both sides by 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 1, what do I end up with? I end up with 1 divided by, oops, no more divided by because that's gone, is equal to the 5x plus 1 factors cancel, and we're left with 3x plus 1 times a and multiply through by this over here, and we're left with 5x plus 1 times b. Okay, let's plug in uh, values here for x to figure out what a and b are. If we plug in, x is equal to one third, or sorry, minus one third. Our goal is to make 3x plus 1 equal to 0, 3x plus 1 is equal to 0 when x is minus 1 third. So that will give 1 is equal to 0a plus minus 5 thirds plus 1b. So that is 1 is equal to, uh, that's going to be minus 2 thirds. So b is equal to uh, minus 3 halves. And then similarly, similarly, we can crunch out and plug in x is equal to, when we plug in x is equal to minus 3 halves here. Sorry, my, not minus 3 halves, minus 1 fifth. I was, looking, I was looking down there instead of looking up there. So if we plug in x is equal to minus 1 fifth, we end up with 1 is equal to minus 3 fifths plus 1 times a plus minus 1 fifth times 5 is minus 1 plus 1 is 0b. So this ends up as 2 fifths a so a is equal to, divide by 2 fifths, a is equal to 5 halves. So we conclude, we conclude that our partial fractions decomposition is a is, I'm plugging in a and b up in here, uh, 5x plus 1, uh, and then plus minus 3 halves, divided by 3x plus 1. Uh, let's just check our answer real quick. Haven't done this in a while, but I think it's worthwhile to do. We can always check our work by combining everything back together. And so we end up with 5 halves times 3x plus 1 minus 3 halves times 5x plus 1. And so this gives us Uh, let's see here, that's 15 halves x plus 5 halves uh, minus 15 halves x uh, minus 3 halves. And sure enough, those cancel 5 halves minus 3 halves, that's equal to 1. So everything checks out. So hooray, we have our partial fractions decomposition is this right here. And so we know that the antiderivative of 
this is going to be so the antiderivative of 5 halves divided by 5x plus 1 would be 5 halves times 1 fifth times natural log of uh, absolute value of 5x plus 1. Uh, I'm, I'm not done yet, but I'll just observe here that this factor of 1 fifth came from doing a substitution. If you want to see, if you want to do all the steps all the way through, you're basically substituting in u is equal to 5x plus 1, and that's going to cause a factor of 1 fifth to appear here. Uh, this one is going to have a minus 3 halves times the 3x plus 1 in the denominator spits out a factor of 1 third when you do the substitution times natural log of the absolute value of 3x plus 1. Okay, so uh, this is what we currently have. So this looks messy, but a lot of things are going to cancel. What's going to cancel? Those 5s are going to cancel. Those 3s are going to cancel. And in fact, that just leaves the only factor out in front is a 1 half and a minus 1 half. So I can say this is 1 half times natural log of absolute value 5x plus 1 minus natural log of 3x plus 1. Okay, one, one more step here that will make it very, very, very difficult for us to do uh, do uh, the to to do our antiderivative, sorry, not our antiderivatives, but our definite integrals, is that we need to combine those two natural logs into one. I'm going to do that after I do all of the setup here. Because let's go ahead and sit and write down what our original antiderivative, sorry, I should say antiderivative, definite integral, improper integral, integral from 2 to infinity of dx over 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 is equal to the limit as r goes to infinity of the integral from 2 to r, 1 over 5x plus 1 times 3x plus 1 dx. And so this is going to be the limit as r goes to infinity of now I'm going to plop in our antiderivative that we just found here. One half times natural log absolute value of 5x plus 1 minus natural log absolute value 3x plus 1 and plug in 2 to r. So here's the place where we can see that we have to where we have to plug in, sorry, not plug in, but we have to combine these two logs into one using log rules, because if we do the limit as r goes to infinity, and we plug in r here, log of 5r plus 1 goes to infinity, log of 3r plus 1 also goes to infinity, and so we'd be left with infinity minus infinity, less than a determinate form that we can't do anything with. So instead, we are forced to, I'm going to move that one half outside the limit. The only thing we can do is combine these two logs into one. Log A minus log B is log of A over B. I've dropped the absolute value bars because everything in sight is positive. Okay, so... We are finally going to plug in R and 2 in here. And so we end up with 5R plus 1 divided by 3R plus 1 minus log of, we plug in 2 here, and it's going to be 11 over 7. Okay, so... Uh, we are making very good progress here. The last thing we have to do is, I mean, this is just a constant over here. It's not affected by the limit. The last thing we have to do is to evaluate this limit right here. So to do, let me use a different color for this, uh, a little bit of a side calculation. 
let's say L is the limit as R goes to infinity of natural log of 5R plus 1 divided by 3R plus 1. We're going to move the natural log outside of the limit. So natural log limit of R goes to infinity of 5R plus 1 divided by 3R plus 1. And then this is easily done by L'Hopital's rule. So that's just natural log of 5 thirds. So that limit in here is natural log of 5 thirds. So our final answer ends up as 1 half times natural log of 5 thirds minus natural log of 11 sevenths. Um, I'll point out here that just to make our answer a little bit nicer, what are some things that we could do here? We can combine these two logs together in our standard way. And so it's log of 5 thirds times, flip that upside down, 7 over 11. So it's 1 half times the natural log of 35 over 33. So a longish problem, I, I do confess, but I think it's a good one to work through because of how many different things there's going on here. There's partial fractions. There's doing the improper integral with the limits R goes to infinity. There's some natural log rules in a couple of different places, uh, including evaluating this limit right here.